This is Mahmoud Hassan Manas. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SolidWorks. Today we will solve this isometric view. In this drawing, this is the top view, this is the front view and this is the right side view. Here we can see a section BB view. This is the section view. Okay, let's get started. First select the top plane. Let sketch here. We can see a 70 by 60 unit rectangle. First, select the center rectangle and give dimension to 60 by 70. Now it is boss 7.5. Now go features, stood boss. 7.5 into now we will try to draw this semicircle and this tangent line this semicircle is radius of 25 ok let's select the front plane Normal to yeah, set circle twenty five into two fifty diameter. This circle is positioned at twenty nine unit from the base and two point five unit from this line. Dimension from base 29 and dimension from this vertical line is 2.5. Now let's draw this tangent line. Okay, let's close the shape. And trim the unnecessary part. This part is x2 pass of 10 unit. Let's go features. X2 pause, chain unit from mid plane. Okay, now we will draw this part and this part. We can see there is a half circle, then another half circle, and another quarter circle. Let's draw all the dimensions. Now select this space and sketch. Now the big circle 25 into 2. And the small inner circle is 25 diameter. Now let's position. Let's draw this circle six point two five. Six point two five into two. Okay. 
period it is done shown now and to another center line it tangent now it is as the close to boundary now we draw this 10 point 13 quarter circle okay you can see the quarter circle is 6.37 from the base let's dimension this point 6.37 let's draw the circle 10.13 into 2 ok now select a line and close close the gap between this ok Now let's trim down all the unnecessary part. our final shape let's see we will store both these five as we already studied 10 so there is five unit and here is five unit go to features extra boss five okay now mirror this part to other side now phone play then mirror okay we have successfully mirrored this part and there is a yellow line it seems we have over dimension let's fix it is dimension okay now we are good to go Now we will draw this shape. As you can see, it is from 31 from this plane. Now take a reference plane, select this side face and plane. 31 plus 4. Select this side. Okay. Now select sketch. normal to it select line draw a line ok I can make it coincident again also make it coincident ok now give the dimension 15 unit and 135 degree Extra cost, which is extra cost is 8. 
Lift 8 and from mid plane. Okay. Now mirror this part also. Let's hide this plane. Mirror it from front plane. Then go to mirror features and select the then press ok ok now we need to draw all this 4 hole you can see this 4 hole has 12 unit diameter and there is a chamfer 1 unit chamfer and it is 15 unit apart from this line and also 15 unit apart from this line ok let's draw it select the face and select the sketch hit 12 unit and also 12 unit now properly dimension it 15 unit from both sides Also dimension this side also 15 unit We have another two cycle. We mirror this circle. First draw is center line. Okay. Then go to mirror entities. Select the arc and select mirror line. Okay. Now we start cut these features. Go to start cut and I will get through all. Now we can see we have another extra cut in here which is 25 diameter. Now select the plane, select circle, place the circle at the center, hit dimension 25. Now go to features, extra cut. Okay, now we can. Let, let's see. We have another extra cut which radius is 8. Now go select face, go to features and take to reference point. One is here and another is here. Okay. Now select circle and draw the circle. 18 to 2, 16. Okay. Now select the circle and select another point and give it coincident. And select the circle again and select the other point and give coincident. Okay. Now go to features and select extra cut then throw on both. Okay, now it's time to give all the necessary fillet. We can see there is a 15 unit fillet and 1 unit chamfer in all the hole. Let's first give the chamfer. Select 1. Select all the dimensions. You want to chamfer. Okay, our chamfer is done. Let's select the uh, fillet. Go to fillet, select 15, and select all the lines. Select all the corners. Okay. Now we can see we have a fillet of 1 here and fillet of 2 here. Let's go to fillet. Fillet of one, this side and this side. Okay, we can fillet. Select two. We fillet here and fillet here. Here and there. Okay. We 
you have another field here also so i can go select select two and select this face and also this one okay this is how our final solution looks like thank you thanks for watching and keep learning be different